said I never really wanted to rap. I never wanted to rap. You know, when I was a little kid, I wanted to go to Duke University and play basketball. My mama, I mean, my mother, I was playing football for Runsburg Raiders. That was the school I was going to. My mama called me off the field, and she ran up to the fence. And she was like, yo, bad, we got to go to Atlanta. I was like, Atlanta for what? So we got to go meet Jermaine Dupree. I'm like, who was that? She like, I mean, I, didn't, I couldn't put his name to the face. I'm like, who is Jermaine Dupree? And then uh, I was mad. I was pissed the fuck off. I was pissed. I was like, man, I don't want to go to Atlanta. For what? Like, I tried that rap shit already. That ain't for me. I want to stay right here in Reynoldsburg. I want to play football. And I'm going to go to Duke. I want to go to Duke University. That's what I want to do. I don't want to rap. And then, of course, got on that plane. And uh, that same night, I saw Jay-Z checking into my hotel. And this was, like, before Hov popped. Like, this is around, like, the Money Ain't a Thing era. Like, right before he hit that bubble and just became what he is now. And that night, him and Jay-Z had a concert, and uh, J.D. brought me out on the stage. And I was on stage with Jay-Z and Jermaine, and uh, J.D. was like, I got my little homie out here, he gonna rap for y'all. And uh, I started rapping, and Jay was like, what the fuck? This little nigga, who is this? <laughs> and then Jermaine, and he told Jay, he's like, Jay-Z told uh, J.D., he's like, yo, this little nigga right here, he's a problem, he's gonna, He's gonna be here for a long time. Like, this this little kid is like he's been here before. But you know, we we beat. I felt like we beat up rap so much. I did so much. You know, my next album will be my eighth. You know, it's like how many more arena tours can I do? I've done seven. You know, it's, it, you know, I've done seven of them. I've done the garden twice in one year. Like, these are my tours, like headlining tours. So it's like, you know, when I sit back and I look at my music career, it's like, wow, I did everything that an artist was supposed to do. When it comes to, to myself and, you know, 106 and just BET in general, I, I think that's one of the reasons why they brought me here was that influence to get them the inside scoop that they probably never could get before. These are guys who, you know, I don't, I, they don't, <clears throat> you know, it's always steps on how to, do things and we have a talent department, a great talent the department here at BT that goes out and gets the talent in it, you know, but it's like, I can call the talent for myself, you know, they haven't had a host who could do those type of things and when these guys come, you definitely see the difference, you know, when Chris comes, you, you see, you know, what you see on, on tours, what you've seen, you get that on live TV, when Snoop comes, we don't sugarcoat nothing, and these are guys that I know because I, can, I don't consider myself, I am the baby brother of hip hop. I'm like hip hop's baby, you know. I'm, I'm the baby brother of hip hop. When it came to me hosting the show, I had no idea that this could even be possible, <clears throat> or that they would even consider me wanting to do something like this. For me, I'm me. I'm gonna be the same person. I've been the same person. So for me, it doesn't matter where I land. I'm gonna do what I do. Uh, but you know, it just feels natural because I'm a character. I always say, yo, I'm tired of giving this away for free, man. I'll be around the house playing around and just joking with my homies and. You know, girls be over and they be laughing and you so fun. Why ain't you got no reality show? Why you know I'm like, you know what, I gotta get paid for this, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm <clears throat> everybody keep telling me this. So it's like when I'm in front of that camera, the camera my best friend. There's no other place I'd rather be. So day one, my first day of hosting 106 when I walked onto the set was, oh I'm here, I'm home. This feel like home. Nah, the shit you be tweeting. Watch, you're going to be off to him I'm done. You not, now I get bound in trouble. I get in trouble for time. What the fuck, man? You're like, I'm done. Hey, I don't fuck my whole shit up. And it's only because people, you become an influence and motherfuckers be like, it's crazy. That shit is, that shit is crazy. Unbelievable. Like, I had to tell my homegirl. She like, can you tweet this for me? Because, like, I, so I can, get, I can get votes. Like, if you put this link, I can get votes. I'm like, I can't tweet that picture. I say, what? I say, I can't, I can't tweet that. Or Instagram you. I'm sorry, I could maybe a week ago. But you ain't worth you ain't worth my checks. I can't do it. I said, listen, man, I just had them people get to my people. I said it's a problem. No, I ain't joking. Yeah, what this is, if you don't have no personality, then you'll never make it in TV. If you don't have no look of personality, you might as well forget about it. You won't make it because you got you. You have to be a people's person, especially with a live audience. Because when we go on commercial, they like they they look at you to entertain them. So 
If you can't ask them a question and then make a joke about it, then y'all banter and go back and forth to make them feel like they're engaged in the show, then it's just, it's all bad. So, I'm, even during commercials, we're dancing. I got the crew moving. Some of our crew guys, I, I had them dance. We do the, the, you know, sometimes the whole staff, we used to do the electric slide right in front of the audience. But we be in our own world, so it's like, it's like, it's like when they come, it's like a circus for them because it's like we say what's up to the crowd of it, but then we go back to being our own world where it's the people behind the cameras, you know, we play the old school music, that family reunion music, and everybody just be moving and grooving and dancing around, and then the fans just be laughing and having a good time, and they want to party, so it's just, it's just a, a good vibe that we, ha that we have here. And it's a vibe that they said that they never had until I got here. So that's what's so special to me is that I, I bring so much of, um, so much character, so much positive energy in the building. And I just want to make it fun for these guys to come to work. Most of these guys been here for like 10, 15, 20 years working at BET. They done went, they done seen every transition, you know, but I wanted to make sure that when I came here, it was going to be an experience that they never, ever had in their life. <laughs>